Hello awesome punks and welcome back to another one of my videos. Today we're doing something new and special. I have my friend Adam here who have we've had a lot of interesting conversations over the time and they get deep and entertaining. So I figured uh, I'm going to have a quick little discussion with him and we'll see how it goes from there. Say hello Adam. Hello. Alright. <clears throat> so, wow that was, that was a womanly clear throat thing. Yeah it was pretty... Pretty femme. Wow, you're gonna go there. All right, so let's let's go ahead and uh, uh, break the ice here. Uh, Call of Duty Ghost trailer came out uh, a couple days ago. Uh, were you able to watch that? Uh, I was, and it's not really a trailer. It's it's a teaser, really. I mean, <coughs> Jesus. It showed what? Well, there's no People footage or no anything. It was all about masks. There's there's this thing going on that um, the guys who are standing there when the torch gets yeah. uh, lit up are going to be like the new main people and or the character design for those type of classes in multiplayer. Well, I can see something like that. That makes sense. But uh, there was this tweet. Um, I can't remember who did it. And it was talking about how uh, Ghost is going to back to the roots. They're rather going to redo... Uh, Call of Duty 4 or just straight up um, take the key concepts that made Call of Duty 4 the game it was and put it into this new thing so with the modern warfares they're kind of throwing all of that aside and going back to Call of Duty 4 alright um I, I could see something like that and I would be totally happy with that and I saw a video I had a little time to research this before but I saw a video um I can't post a link or anything. Like I can't think of who did it, but he was talking about a. He said it was a. Like a, a reliable source that said the um, it would be called Ghosts and it would be it are ba uh, based in the future, but with current generation weaponry and technology, and that there was a plot reason for that. Okay. And this was like four weeks ago before they announced the game, so. I mean, if you got the name right, I don't know how much else he got right. Well, but yeah, if you if you ask me, the mask that he puts on when he opens or when he turns on the flare looks a lot like Ghost's mask from um, Call of Duty Four. So yeah. I think it's in my like uh, just a theory that they might be rebooting it, and instead of going uh, on Ghost or on a uh, soap, they might be going behind the mask of Ghost this time. Because they did have a, uh, I think it was a four, four or five part comic series about Ghost. Really, I, I yeah. didn't know that. It's ghost something, but it talks about him and his uh, previous mission that gone wrong and this and this and that. Um, it's a pretty good one. It's um, they're kind of long, I thought, but um, talks about him. His name is Simon Riley and his whole exploits with fighting cartels and crap like that and getting prison or, or not prison on a school like hostages freeing hostages from a school well ghost was a very interesting character like yeah i don't know just his whole attitude going into every fight was just you know I, he was a well-developed character that they didn't reflect on a lot he was just kind of like the daryl dixon of call of duty yeah so. like He's there to do work and go home. Yeah, I no, see. that's a, he was a soldier, and that's that's yeah. what it is. So, <clears throat> yeah. So, um, uh, what have you been playing lately? Recently, oh, yeah. um, that's that's lately. I've been playing Fallout New Vegas, the Lonesome Road DLC. Yeah, I still haven't so, touched that. Yeah, I, I've been going back and playing all the DLCs. Uh, so far. I'd say Lonesome Road is shaping to be my favorite. Yeah, uh, I keep Dead Money, that from everyone. Dead Money, I did not... Um, it was annoying. I haven't touched balls. that one either. I mean, that's the whole thing. It... And... It... There was just so many things that were obnoxious about it. It was difficult. Well... I haven't touched Dead Money and the uh, what's the one the Harvest the Heart thing what was that? Yeah, um, Honest Hearts. Honest Hearts, to be 
absolutely honest with you, um, I did not touch any side missions or explore that place because the main storyline to that DLC was so interesting. I wanted to keep going. Yeah. I actually rushed that one because of the fact that it was it was it was yeah, good. Was that? Adam, still there? Okay. I I meant you yeah. might you, you might want to repeat that because you broke out. Yeah, I didn't hear you. Oh, you're talking about honest hearts, and you broke up. I was I was just saying that um, the main storyline was so good from what I was when I was playing it that I I didn't do anything else. I didn't. I wanted just to get through that whole main storyline just to know what happens next. Um, yeah. Like, Plus, I don't know. The map was kind of dull to me, in my opinion. It was. Oh yeah. Not a lot to look that around. one is not a lot of. I didn't have a lot of emotion at all in that one. Whereas at the end of Dead Money, there was a lot of emotion. No matter I, how I feel about the beginning and all that, by the time you got to the end, you were invested, and it was really emotional at the end. I I still haven't touched it. I still haven't touched yeah. Dead Money, so I still have to go there. Yeah. Otherwise, um, Overworld Blues. That one, um... That was driving me nuts. I, I can't stand that one. Repetitive. Yes. Extremely repetitive yeah. and... Long. Long. Kind of boring. Yeah. It's... It's rough. I mean, uh, there's... It was comedic. I mean, it was funny. Some things... In, in short bursts, yeah. Yeah, I mean... Some of, like, the whole footed penises thing, that was funny, but... Not... It... Explained a lot of things, or some of them at least. Mm. But that's the thing is, people say that Lonesome Road explains a hell of a lot about like the whole story, and that's what I'm on right now. And so far, it's just it's been teasing ex- our answers, but it hasn't given any yet. And I'm assuming that it's all, all going to save them for the end. <coughs> Excuse me. I've actually been playing a game that really pisses me off. I've been playing Halo Four a lot more. Yeah, I've been playing it with you a little bit. Yeah. Oh, and, yeah. Yeah. Where do you Not, think they went wrong with Halo 4? Um, multiplayer. What, well, I was about to say, uh, other... <laughs> yeah, we'll, I mean, we'll stick to the multiplayer. We've talked about the campaign a little bit today, but... Well, let's go yeah. back to the multiplayer, which seems to be just kind of like my... I don't want to say cancer, because <laughs> you don't... Yeah, uh, I, I, it's it. just the fact that they changed too much... And like the whole loadout system, I don't, I don't care for that. I understand that it's a, uh, it's an advancement, it's moving forward, but it's not exactly Halo. I hate the loadout system. I, I mean, before they had the little loadouts, but those were universal that everybody had. And that was in Reach, mm-hmm. and those were, I mean, it was a step forward, but it wasn't a massive, you know, leap. So I mean, that's that. But I mean, what, like. I feel like they could have taken a smaller step to kind of ease into something like that instead of just jumping ahead. Well, like they, I'm not, I'm not going to be that person that say that they changed too much. But like, I think if they took out the loadout system and maybe fixed some main problems out the gate that they had, because I mean, the thing that really pissed me off about the game starting off is that it was incomplete. It was broken. Yeah. And, it was like they had to push it just to finish it. Or just well, to get it out. If they're taking the torch of Halo, you want to make sure it's right before you let it go. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, they, they pulled a lot of refunds, or refunds, but um, resources into the campaign. Yeah. And not, and they kind of put um, multiplayer in the back burner. Well, see, that's that's the thing. I mean, the, the campaign, in my opinion, was one short, and then the quick time events drove me nuts because you know when do you want quick time events in Halo? Like there was there was I think it was Halo two no it's three to where um, the prophet is flying around and you got to jump onto him and like it's like you're hijacking him and that's like the only quick time event in that. And that must I was, have been two. Was it two? Because that's the thing is that two is the only one that I've only played halfway and I don't remember that in three at all. Was it two? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, I think you're right. Maybe. I don't remember. I gotta replay those. They're missing, unfortunately. I do too. So, um, we're gonna wrap this one up here soon, but let's go ahead and go with the important questions. What video game? Are, there's, there's, there's some decent ones coming out here soon. 
Uh, what one are you looking forward to the most? I mean, deep down, I want to say um, Assassin's Creed 4. Okay. But it's... I mean, and it looks like they changed a lot of things, and I like that. And I'm a huge fan of Assassin's Creed. Have I'll they play. shown gameplay at all? They have. Oh, I haven't even seen it. There's been a gameplay trailer that they released. Oh. And um, it's like they added uh, underwater levels where you got to swim around and do crap underwater. Okay. Um, a kind of more of a free roamy um, boating system. Oh, so they did it's, keep the boating system. Yes. Best feature it's, in Assassin's Creed Three. So. Yeah. By and hands down. It's a, it, it's a big thing. Is They changed it so it's going to be about 40% of the game is going to be on water and 60% is going to be on land. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I like that. And one thing, naval battles, they did. The, they said that this was going to be a new feature. That um, you're gonna, during a naval battle, you're going to be able to leave um, the wheel and jump aboard and fight. I, I, actually, I was just about to ask you that, and that's that's awesome. That's I know, because that's the one thing that'd be like, I would just jump aboard there and kill everybody. Yeah, no, that's, now, that sounds like awesome. Like, you can loot these other ships. Well, yeah. And money and materials from it, which would be great. And I hope that they make you have to, like, buy, um, you know, like, rations for your crew and buy little repairs. Yeah, you know, instead that. of just, like, more stuff to add onto the boat. Right. After you get in, like, this intense battle. Yeah. I'm, I'm, like, I wasn't, I was kind of iffy about the game, or not, or going to my game. I'm, we're going to talk about me here. So, uh, right. I was kind of iffy about the game, and I'm talking about Splinter Cell Blacklist, but right. I'm a huge Splinter Cell fan, and then when I saw that they were returning uh, Mercs versus Spies, I got yeah. really excited. I think I got slightly aroused. Like, I want to <laughs> say that's the one I'm most excited for, but the more I keep watching these videos for the uh, State of Decay, the more excited yeah. I keep getting, look, uh, I keep getting been, for it. I've been seeing a little bit of that, and I mean, you, you turned me on to that. Is that I, I'm not a huge fan of third-person over the shoulder, like, especially shooters. I'm not a huge fan of third-person shooters, because it's just, I'm, I'm just so awkward with it, but third-person survival games, like, uh, you know, like, uh, Assassin's Creed, and that's not really survival, but it's not exactly a shooter. Mm-hmm. You know, that cover-to-cover base, almost like a Ghost Recon or a Gears. Right. Well, and that's um, something I could definitely, i definitely try, and I could see myself probably playing it. I, I mean, I just watched another video for it, and it was just like a quick Let's Play, or not a Let's Play, but a quick uh, gameplay video of it, and it was literally of a guy uh, killing some zombies and then going into a store. Uh, he looked for some loot really quick, and then he made in a phone call and to his base, which was literally right down the road, and they sent, uh, like, he was watching the map, and it showed, like, a dot uh, called a, a guy that was called a runner, and he ran across the field and uh, searched the uh, store for supplies. He did, huh. like, a thorough search. So, I don't know. So you can almost, of, like, go ahead. Uh, action out people to do stuff for you. Yeah, I kind of want to say that's what it was. Like, I don't... He, he like, searched something really quick, and it said, like, food. And I don't know if he just didn't want to search it, or if you have to send someone to search it. But, I don't know. It was... That was something. Still haven't played the game, but, um... The Walking Dead Survival Instinct. Game I want to play, just because I've had, you know, bad reviews, but I love the TV show, and I love everything. You know, I, wa- I want to try it. I want to find out for myself... But one thing that they've shown in there is that you can take something like uh, when you stop at a certain at different places, you can tell your um, the people who you're with, you give them weapons or whatever, and then they go out and search for different things. So yeah. they have a chance to come back with loot or come back dead. But or, the know, whole thing with that is is that you just get to – it's like one of those simple click, uh, click yeah. the weapon, click go, click what to look for. That's it. Um, actually, speaking of that game, uh, one of our friends, we're going to borrow it from when he's he's going to play through it again, and then we're, he's going to let us borrow it. He said he liked it. Not breaking up. Can't understand <laughs> Can you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Because i got to wrap up this video. Yeah, still. No. Okay. He, he goes... 
Internet connection. Iffy. So he's going to go quiet. Um, I'm going to wrap up this video because you can probably hear me now. All right. Uh, yeah. Any of the videos you saw, uh, go ahead and click them to go to the video and or link. Uh, also, I'll put the links below. I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, leave a comment and a like to become 98% more awesome. And I think that's it. I haven't done my outro in such a long time because I've just been randomly playing and then copying the video. Anyway, thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. And we'll just... Bye. Oh, oh bye. Sorry. <laughs>